Hello, 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 Purple Priestess family. Welcome, 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 babies. If you are new here, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We're almost to a thousand. We're almost ready to give away the free reads. Um, don't forget to go check out Tiny's Tarot. Um, September 11th is our two year anniversary over there. That's the channel I've had the longest. I will be doing um, giveaways over there. So go um, like, subscribe over there so you can um, catch me when I do the live giveaways over there, okay? For the two year anniversary. So let me give you guys the rundown real quick because I know you guys love it. Come on, yeah, get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable because we about to make it do what it do, babies, okay? The smoke detector will beep, the plants will fly over, I sing, I curse, if any of this is a problem, now is the time for you to click off. If not, go ahead and hit that like button for your girl, subscribe, click the all button, um, especially if you want to catch me live, the only way you can catch me live on this channel is to be subscribed. They only um, notify my subscribers of live readings, okay, on this channel until I get to a thousand subs here, okay, babies? Um, but you can catch me live on all the other channels as well. So we're going to do a singles read, what's coming in for our singles. We're about to go into this retrograde. I had um, did a pre-shuffle. It was a little funny to me. We're going to see if that same energy is here or um, <laughs> what spirit has for the collective energy right now, okay? So what is coming in for the collective, my singles, as we head into this Mercury retrograde? What's coming in or coming back? <laughs> I'm sorry for my singles. <laughs> Please don't go back. What's coming in or come? I'm like, you know, Mercury retrograde bringing people from the past back, y'all. Okay, so just no singles. Oh, I got tears, y'all. It was so funny. Oh, name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Mother. Oh, Lord. Whew. that is funny. Okay, so what's coming in for the singles, my collective spirit? What can they expect? Okay, so somebody one in the family. So you might end up meeting somebody here that wants to um, have a commitment, a connection. They may want to build a family here. What's coming in for my singles here? What can they expect? What's coming in for my singles? Yeah. Um, first says trust in this, trust in us. So this is someone that's going to come in. They're going to want to build trust with you. They're going, they're going to be trustworthy. They're going to want this family type of dynamic. They could have grew up, um, they could either grew up with a, 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 a mother and father family dynamic or um, in their house growing up or they always wanted that. But this person has been looking for this type of family connection here. Um, they may be religious, they may be spiritual, but I feel like this person has been praying for a connection like this. You could be have been praying for a connection like this as well that's coming in after a lot of hurt and heartbreak. Okay. Um, you may still be holding on to some things from your past, some hurts from past lovers, some some inner child here, um, inner childhood issues here, maybe mommy daddy issues, insecurity, maybe some abandonment issues here. That, that causes you to have some trust issues. Spirit is saying you need to heal the trust issues, honey, okay? Especially if you want this connection, if you want this family. You may need to spend some time healing. Yeah, but you got somebody that's going to come in that wants you to be their girlfriend. Or um, if you are if you are a woman, they're going to want you to be their girlfriend. If you're a guy, this woman's going to want to be your girlfriend, okay? But they're going to want a family. They want, they're going to want something to lead to something long-term here. It's coming in for my singles. Give me one more for my singles. It's coming in for my singles. Okay, so yeah, it says look at it from their point of view here. 
So what I'm getting from this is you both could have been hurt in the past. You both could be dealing with some, some trust issues. I feel like it's a lot of healing here. Huh. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So a Spirit is saying for you to heal whatever your trust issues is, they need you to look at it from both sides. Because if not, you're not going to be able to move forward in this connection. Thank you, Spirit. Whatever it is that you're still angry about, whoever it is that hurts you, that that has you in this non-trusting wall barrier, hard to get in energy, Spirit says you have to heal that. And you may have to look at it from the perspective of the other person as well. Yeah, you could be you could be holding on to some something from your past here, collective. You could be saying that you don't care about this person, you don't love this person no more. This person hurt you, but you're still holding on to the emotions. You're still holding on to the anger. Spirit needs you to release this. You're going to remain single until you heal this. But if you heal and you trust in, in the divine, right? You learn to trust again and let your guard down. You do have a connection that will come in here that will start off as, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend energy, but will lead to a family connection here. Yeah, there is a loving connection here. But you have to release. You may have been through a lot. Abused, hurt. This could be you or the person coming towards you. But I, I, I mean, it could be both. But somebody was dealing with some trust issues. Okay, single soul. If you're, if you're still holding on to things from the past, Spirit needs you to release those things so that they can... Um, yeah, somebody could have been lying, sneaky, deceptive. You're still holding it. Somebody could have juggled you. You're still holding on to that. You don't trust people because somebody put you in third-party situations. Somebody played with your feelings. They played with your emotions. And you are, even if you say you're not angry, you're still angry. This person is angry here. Hurt. Even though you're saying that it doesn't bother you anymore or you're over it, but you're, you're really not. We need you to sit down and actually meditate, actually heal, actually do the work. Clarify family for my singles. Yeah. Justice will be served. Things will balance out. Could a uh, Libra could be coming in here for you. But you will be getting justice and a connection. You will get the type of love that you have been wanting. Okay? That that you won't be in competition. See, this is why you don't have trust, because people put you into competition in the past. But you will be getting a connection that's just what you have to heal. Trust in this, trust in us. For my singles. Yeah, you are the queen of wands, baby. You is the shit. Man or woman. You're beautiful, you're handsome, you're confident. You're connected, you're creative, you're passionate. You sexy as shit. You connected spiritually. You know what I'm saying? You're hot like fire. <laughs> you know? Spirit says trust in who you are. They know you were hurt because somebody put you in third party situations. Six of Pentacles is given to more than one. But in this particular deck, it's only one person here. Right? It's not, they're not giving to anybody else. So Spirit is saying, if you can heal this, heal these past wounds, there is somebody that's going to come in and just give to you. You will get justice in a connection here. Clarify abuser abuse. Yeah. Spirit wants you to release that. Release the pain. Stop holding on to it. It's not doing anything but keeping you trapped and stuck. No forward movement. But then you keep wanting something new. Spirit says it's time to heal the star. That's my girlfriend for my singles. What do they need to know? 
collector, single collector. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. Five of Swords. Yeah, see, whoever you dealt with in the past, they manipulated you. They played mind game. They could have gaslighted you. It could have been more than one person. It could have been just one person. It could have been, doesn't even have to be um, a romantic connection. It could have been a friend. It could have been a family member. But you're holding on to these things. You don't trust people. And you're quick to turn your back on a motherfucker and put your guard and your wall up because of things that happened to you in the past. And Spirit is saying, don't do that this time. You have to face it. Heal it. Stop running from it. So that you can move forward. You have to put the work in to heal it. Yeah. Because you got a new beginning here. So you can take the leap of faith and move forward. A brand new beginning. As soon as you heal and release. Put the work in. Singles. You want this love. Then you have to do the work to get this love. One more for I don't love you anymore. Yeah, Page of Swords. There, there, there could be people out here watching you. There's somebody who wants to come in and put action in, talk to you. Somebody could be stalking you. Your person you walked away from, they could still be watching as well. But you got a brand new beginning here as soon as you heal. Give me one more for I don't love you anymore. Four of cups. The sun. Okay, so... With this Mercury retrograde coming in, you could have someone from your past about to come back as well, right? You got a new beginning. You have a new beginning in love coming for you once you heal but you also have somebody coming back from your past it could be this person that um you could have had a family with them a baby's mother or a baby's father right um if it's not a baby's mother or a baby's father that's coming back from the past it could be an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend yeah somebody that broke your trust in the past they're going to return with this mercury retrograde they don't want to let you go. They manipulated you. They gaslighted you in the past. They're going to come in and tell you that they want to bring you justice. They want to balance out the scales now. They want to put in the work. This person has been watching you from the background. And they want to come in and present you with an offer. And they're hoping that you say yes. Use your discernment when this person returns. And remember, you also have a brand new love coming in. That is not this person from the past. There's two energies here. Yeah. <laughs> that six of pentacles again. You may end up having to make a choice now. Having to choose between two. Someone from your past and a brand new love here. Singles. Anything else from my singles here? Nine of wands. Persevering. Perseverance moving forward. The wounded warrior. One more chance. One more try. Let your heart... I mean, let your heart. Well, heal your heart. Let your guard down. One, one last time here. Yeah, I had the Eight of Cups, right? And I was going to, I thought I was cutting there, but it flipped and put to the Three of Wands. So I see you walking away from the negativity and walking right into your future here. Anything else for my, my collective singles? Three of Wands still at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Cups. There's a brand new love coming in. Yeah, communication, forward movement. Okay, singles, yeah. Ace of Wands, a passion, new beginning. In love here. You have Three of Pentacles, some type of teamwork. Someone coming in wanting to build with you. You just have to heal. You have to do your part. Put in the work to heal. Release the things that no longer serve you. Be ready to let your guard down. For real. If you want this connection. Okay. You have to let go of the things that no longer serve you. And this person that you're letting go of, they may return. That's maybe part of the test. 
they're going to come back and ask you to look at it from their point of view. They want you to see it, why, you know, what, what went down in their situation here. Why they stabbed you in the back. Why they gaslit you. Why they lied and manipulated you. So please do, use your, your discernment here, baby. Listen to your intuition. Yeah. For some of you guys, this person from the past does have regrets about the choices they made. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys, this is a soulmate returning. So once again, use your discernment. Get a personal. Yeah. They could want to heal. And so it's different for everybody. Get a personal to see what, what your story is, um, if it resonates, to make sure it's for you. Um, and even if you don't get it from me, get it from somebody that you trust, love. Okay, babies? So until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. 15.55 on the clock. Ah! Bye, my purple princess babies. Gang, gang.